go ahead and get cracking. So we're just gonna go ahead and open a card. This is super simple. I'm just gonna go into my fill, hit that linear gradient, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna start picking these colors. One, click on the other one, the other circle, get my other color, all right? And let's see, it looks like it's lighter on this side and that side, maybe not a diagonal one. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that again. Looks like the lighter side, click on the other one. And we're gonna pull this over here and pull this one down. All right, let's, let's get into our radius. So we're just gonna raise this up real quick. I'm gonna elongate this just a little bit because that's what the card looks like. Cross check this really quick, just make sure we have our sizes about right. There's no better way to like figure out how somebody made something by just overlaying some stuff. All right, so we got that. We're gonna go ahead and do our 15 euro. So let me see, I'm gonna make this our white. But if you have some that you have in mind, hey, let's go ahead and do it. Go to our fill, I'm gonna pull this up, make the light stuff go down. Just reason being is because as you guys saw that this was gray, but it was blending into the background, we don't want that. Today's video sponsor is Anima. Anima is the leading no code, low code platform slash plugin for designers to be able to translate their designs to code automatically. Anima is available for platforms like Adobe XD, where designers can automatically take what they've designed and translate it into code with a single click. And listen, that's just the tip of the iceberg. With another click, you can immediately share your live website with your clients or stakeholders within just minutes of finishing your design. And this helps us avoid any, you know, design spec mishaps, if you know what I'm saying. With Anima, you can finally create prototypes that feel real with video, GIFs, Lottie animations, functioning maps, and actually being able to plug in analytics as soon as your new prototype or site goes live. And there's so much more. So look, listen, how much more do I need to tell you before you actually go and check them out yourself and level up in your design game? So if you wanna know more, click the link down in the description or if you're watching on IGTV, go ahead and click the title. So with that, let's get back into our video. I'm just gonna duplicate this over. I am now just going to get our light brown and we are going to get that dark brown. Pull this baby up. And we're just gonna fix our other colors. Make that white, make this 25, and let's just make everything else white as well while we're at it. If something does look a little bit different. Oh, that's why, because it's not actually white. It's probably an off gray. All right, now I'm just gonna make space between all this stuff. All right, and I actually don't really care what it says on this, but I really want to get to the, just like the simple interaction. I'm gonna take the size of this. Let's see, height is 336. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Pull it in and take the border off of this. I'm gonna duplicate this so I can bring this in and just hit Control Shift M and make a mask so that I can hide this arm. Okay. And just for the sake of it, regular plus extra estate. Now we get into the actual animating. So this is what we're gonna do in on hover. We're just gonna do the point up. And it also looks like there's a shadow thing initiated. So we're gonna do that super easy. I'm just gonna hit Command K to make this a component so I can make a hover state, which is just click of a button, hover. We're gonna click into this component. We're gonna find our mask with our image. That's the one thing about Adobe XD. You have to make sure that everything in your hover state and in your default state are absolutely the same. So if you create something in the hover state that isn't in the default state, it won't animate. All right, I'm gonna select all this, Control K, Component here. All right, we have rectangle three and number one. Hover state, we're gonna click on this, go into our mask. We're actually gonna select the R finger. We're gonna pull it up just like we did last time, rotate a little bit. There we go. Uh, we didn't do auto animate. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to click on this. The trigger is hover. We want it to auto animate. We wanna do snap, all right? We're gonna do six seconds. Let's see, there we go. At least we got the hand. We'll have to figure out the background now. Rectangle one. Oh, that's what it was. Bruh. Okay, like I said before, Adobe XD is really, really picky about the names. The names aren't right. They will make it seem as if um, they won't know that they're related basically. There we go. I wanna get into creating the shadow on this. So what I'm gonna do is because things are a little funky, I'm gonna duplicate this. Rectangle one. We now have a rectangle seven. I'm gonna name it rectangle sh uh, shadow. Then we just put a mini shadow on it. Blast the border real quick. Turn the opacity down on this. Let's make it more at the bottom. Let's turn this blur just a little bit. We're gonna leave this 
just a rectangle just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these other bits, select everything, and I'm just gonna push it up just a tad. Color the background, blur the object, and blur this joint out. And now let's see, let's go back to our component. We're on the default state. We want the inverse. So what we're gonna, we want this to be hover. So we're gonna just put everything back really quick. I wanted to just test everything out. So we're gonna push this down one. I'm gonna leave this here. And we're actually gonna put all the opacity all the way down. Go to hover, open this baby up. We're gonna just select all this. And we're just gonna hit shift and our up arrow just to push it up. And we're gonna go to our shadow and we're now gonna turn the opacity all the way on. There we go. Super simple, you don't have to deal with keyframes. Obviously the shadow can be turned down just a little bit and yeah, so far so good. Let us begin, we're gonna fill the background like this. Okay, we're gonna start typing out hip hop. Boom. 